A car strikes and kills a pedestrian trying to cross the 14 freeway. Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCV News Break for Tuesday, December 13th. An elderly woman was struck and killed Tuesday afternoon on State Route 14 in Fair Oaks Ranch, apparently while trying to cross the freeway on foot. She died on the scene. As of this broadcast, the victim's identity has not been released. The 70-year-old woman was apparently hit by a gray Toyota Corolla. Her body was found lying in the middle of the freeway when the highway patrol arrived on scene around 2 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. Northbound traffic was diverted off the freeway at Via Princesa, the northbound HOV and fast lanes reopened about an hour after the collision. A local home builder came through with a significant donation to help the Santa Clarita Valley Food Pantry continue its work of feeding those in need during the holiday season. The vice president of construction services for Party Homes presented a $500 check to SCV Food Pantry executive director Belinda Crawford Tuesday morning. The money will help purchase the basics like proteins, fruits and vegetables. Right now with the economy the way it is, we are running low of our core items, running out of our core items on a regular basis. So this is this is uh, unbelievable. Well, Party Homes feels it's a part of this community and we want to give something back to the community. Not only do we build homes, but we're very interested in what goes on in the Santa Clarita Valley. Coming up after the break, local artists find a new home. It's go time at your Toyota dealer. They're here now. The cars, trucks, and SUVs you really want. With great deals on every new Toyota. Go for zero APR and save thousands on a new Corolla. Or lease a new Corolla for just $189 a month for 36 months. And Corolla comes with Toyota Care complimentary maintenance. We make it easy on you. Get a new Corolla. It's go time. Two checks were cut Tuesday to support two sorely needed services in the Santa Clarita Valley. From their annual charity wine affair in October, the Seroptimists of the Greater Santa Clarita Valley raised $7,500 for the Sheila R. Vilos Breast Imaging Center. The money will be used for two purposes. One is to help pay for a tissue oximeter, which is used for breast cancer treatment. The rest of the money will go to help those who can't afford breast cancer detection services. Some women that can't afford it. They diagnosed mine on a mammogram, and there's a lot of women that have co-pays for their insurance they can't pay, or no insurance at all. And I want these women to get checked, helped, and uh, be well and live. The Seroptimists also raised an additional $8,300 for Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital's future neonatal intensive care unit. Currently, if there is a problem at Henry Mayo after birth, the baby is moved to a nearby hospital that has a NICU, immediately separating mother and child. This happened to Laura Kirchhoff, whose daughter was sent to UCLA's neonatal intensive care unit immediately after she was born. Days later, Kirchhoff barely arrived in time to hold her daughter before she died. I wasn't able to spend the time with my daughter because we did not have the facilities here in Santa Clarita. And now, 28 years later, we do. And I'm just very thankful so that mothers won't have to go through what I went through. The Seroptimists have promised to send a total of $25,000 by next year to support Henry Mayo's NICU services. Henry Mayo plans to open their new neonatal unit in January next year. L.A. County Supervisor Mike Antonovich announced Tuesday afternoon who he is nominating as Woman of the Year in L.A. County for 2011. It will be Sherry Fleming, co-owner of Valencia Acura. The announcement came during a Seroptimist meeting Tuesday afternoon, and apparently the news came as a shock to her. Um, Supervisor Antonovich is, is an amazing man and does such great work, and to even think that my name is on his radar list is, is pretty amazing, and, and I couldn't be more honored or more thrilled. Fleming is known in our Valley for serving many, on many boards for several charities around the Valley and raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for those organizations. If Sherry wins, this will not be her first Woman of the Year award. In 2004, Sherry was named as the Santa Clarita Valley's Woman of the Year, and in 2007, California State Senator George Runner 
named her as Woman of the Year. All right, now for our weather. Partly cloudy skies in Santa Clarita today with a high of 58 degrees. Tonight's lows will drop into the low 40s. More sunshine is in store for Wednesday, and breezy conditions will roll in Thursday. Those winds are expected to stick around for most of your weekend with highs in the upper, upper 50s and 60s. We now have local sports. Dave Caldwell is here to give us an update. All right, Brian, thank you very much. And with basketball season getting into high gear, the Foot of the League is beginning to show some muscle. Out of 34 games played this season by the six teams in the league, the Foothill has won 24 of them. Valencia is the two-time defending league champion, so I asked head, head coach Rocket Collins what his thoughts are about the league this year. I don't know if it's getting the respect it deserves, but again, I've always said that our league is pretty good. Um, we're, we've always been underrated. Because we're not close to the city and all that, I don't know if we ever get you know, to be like modern day. And in this league, a perfect season is hard to get. Most of the time it takes more than, it takes about an eight and two record to win the league. Most of the time. Every once in a while somebody does a good job and goes, you know, nine, one, 10 and oh. But most of the time it takes eight and two. Um, and you just gotta take care of business. And Ryan, that's our look at sports. Thank you, Dave. The Santa Clarita Artists Association has a new place to call home. On Monday, members and guests celebrated the grand opening of a new storefront on Town Center Drive next to Pottery Barn. The 1,500 square foot space allows the organization to showcase local art and connect with more people. More than 38 uh, artists are featured in, in our current exhibit and every one and a half months we cycle that. So we have fresh uh, paintings all, all the time. 120 pieces of art, including sculptures and paintings, are currently on display. The new gallery is open Friday and Saturday from noon to 9 and Sundays from noon to 6. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or sevnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Haslam.